Hey astrology lover, this is Julia Mikas, your astrologer with my assistant Luna, and I'm going to tell you your July 2020 horoscope. Now these horoscopes work best if you use your ascendant or rising sign instead of your sun sign. And if you don't know what that is, then get your exact birth time and head over to my website to calculate one for free. You can find the link below. Hey Virgo, Mercury, that trickster planet, starts off the month retrograde in your 11th house of groups, and it's been retrograde since June. Uh, during this time, you might have to run into some miscommunications with friends, and the gossip might get a little bit bitchy, so heads up. This is also the house of hopes, wishes, and dreams, so you may have doubts about your future plans, or you might have to redo some long-term strategy. Now, if you can put off signing contracts until Mercury goes direct on the 12th, that's probably going to be for the best. Also, you can expect some technological snafus like unsent emails, computer breakdowns, and glitchy phones, so try to back up everything. Venus, the planet of relationships and peace, is in your 10th house of career and authority all month. When it comes to dealing with authority figures like parents, teachers, bosses, and police officers, you can now use your charm to disarm. Now, that could be really nice if you need to talk your way out of a speeding ticket. And if you do any work in art, design, negotiation, customer service, or beauty, then this can be a really fruitful period. You can also um, have a tendency to really identify with your work, Virgo, so this should be a pretty good time for you on your job. Mars, the planet of war, is in your eighth house of other people's money all month. The eighth house represents all of your shared resources you have, like with family or institutions, such as inheritances, debts, loans, and joint credit cards. If you need to get a loan or borrow some money from someone, you might come up short-handed this month. Also, watch out for getting into fights over money with your partner, family, or anyone you share joint finances with. Since the 8th house is also connected to sex, this can also be a kinky transit, so just saying. Saturn, the planet of challenge, is back in your 5th house of amusements and children until July 3rd, and it's going to stay there for most of the year. You might feel extra blocked from enjoying your usual fun, like gaming, gambling, sports, and dating. Almost like someone threw a big old wet blanket on your good times. If you got any children, then they might be causing you more headaches than usual too during this transit. This is also an artistic house, so if you have any creative hobbies like writing or painting, you might feel a bit blocked too. But if you do need to develop more creative discipline, then this can be a really useful transit for that. If you're single, you might notice you're swiping left a lot more on your dating app than usual too. And we've also got a big lunar eclipse coming up on July 3rd that's happening in your 5th and 11th houses. The eclipse might start taking effect a few weeks before and after the actual date. So expect big changes in your creative pursuits, love life, your games and hobbies, your fertility, your children, any groups or associations you're a part of, and your future plans. Thanks for watching. I'm publishing short but sweet horoscopes every month, so if you want to watch more, then subscribe to my channel. I'm also making new astrology videos from everything on philosophical to technical topics. So if there's something that you want to learn more about, then let me know by commenting below. Ciao for now!